God is not a, a reckless father. Yeah. He's, oh, his voice is always out of, can you come back to you, my child? Look yeah. at the story of the prodigal son. Yeah. He's like, can you come back to the house? Yeah. I am more than able to, to, you know, to wipe whatever has happened. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you from wherever you're tuning in to. This is Visionary Youth Podcast where we are young young and alive. alive. That's right, we are alive to Christ and alive to his word. Welcome to yet another series. This is Awake to Righteousness series and it's actually a book review based on a book uh, authored by our man of God, Pastor Adeshno Adeola, who's also the senior pastor right here at Christ Foundation Ministries International, well known as Royal Assembly Church in Nairobi, Kenya. So guys, um, I'd let you introduce yourselves. Um, I have a panel of vibrant visionary youth Yay. from my <laughs> right side. <laughs> Favor Grace. Right. Victoria. Baraka. Baraka. Hmm. Awesome. So guys, I believe you've gone through the book already. Uh, personally, this book has really blessed me. It's something in this book that changed my perception of what righteousness is. So today we are discussing all about righteousness. So what's your understanding of the term righteousness? Um, Victoria? Um, I'll say, first of all, the most important thing we need to know about righteousness is that righteousness is a gift um, that you don't need to work in order for you to be righteous. You don't need to do anything. It's simply just given to you by God once you got born again. And once you understand that there's a belief system in you that changes, that makes things now begin to work for you. Because if you don't understand that righteousness is a gift, you will end up, or rather people will end up getting tired of doing things. So where you hear, then you begin to hear people say things like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I don't know why things are not working. Mm-hmm. It's because you are constantly trying to work, whereby uh, we are not supposed to work. We're just supposed to freely, freely you're given freely, you, you receive. receive. Mm-hmm. So um, just understanding basically that righteousness is a gift, I believe it's, it's basically just cures 100% or rather 90% of your problems already mm. by you just believing, mm. yeah. just believing simply yeah. that I've been given a gift which is all righteousness. Amen. Yeah. Brother Arnold, maybe you'd like to uh, chip uh, in. Yeah, uh, as she said, yeah, righteousness is a gift. Mm. Uh, you don't work for it. Yeah. And also, you, uh, we get to understand that righteousness is also God's nature. And when you receive, Amen. God is a spirit. Mm. Yes. And uh, when you receive Christ, you receive a new spirit, the spirit of Christ, mm-hmm. of which we know Christ mm-hmm. and God, they are one. Mm-hmm. Yes. And as I've said, God is righteousness. Mm-hmm. So when you receive his spirit, mm-hmm. you also become righteous. righteous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, simply put. Amen. So um, maybe Grace, you can tell us, how does one become righteous? Okay. Uh, I would really just say it in one word. Get born again. Mm-hmm. The Bible says that... Um, by their mouth they shall confess the lordship of Jesus, and then by their heart they shall believe unto righteousness. Amen. So first of all, you have to confess the lordship of Jesus Christ, Amen. and then you you believe in your heart that Jesus died for you, and then you believe unto righteousness. It's like they said, it's a nature. It's a nature. So when you receive Christ, you've received the nature of God that's righteousness. So when you want to, re- to be righteous, it's, n- it's not about your doings. Mm-hmm. It's about receiving Christ. And the Bible says, he made him who knew no sin to Amen. be seen so that he can make us righteous mm-hmm. in him. Amen. In who? In Christ Jesus. So if there's no Christ, I'm going no to righteous. be righteous at all. Sure. Just forget about doing the good deeds you normally yeah. do. Mm-hmm. Oh, you feed the the poor. I want to oh, be waking you... up at eight a.m. Uh-uh. and sleeping at. You're 10 doing. You're doing. Then... You're doing nonsense. <laughs> the Bible say says <laughs> filthy rugs. You're doing nonsense yeah. because yeah. righteousness. You, like Vicky said, righteousness. You don't work for it. You know. You know there it's are people who. Thank you. Mm-hmm. There are people who would say, for me, I want to stop partying. <laughs> I want to stop yeah. uh, going stop to smoking. the clubhouse, yeah. stop yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, smoking, yeah. and I just want to be a good person. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and that that's is contrary. very self, that's self-focused. Yeah, that's yeah. self-righteousness. Yes, that's self-righteousness because you want to use your your strength, and yeah. yet there's a gift. Do you know there's there's one thing 
to be given a gift mm-hmm. and is another thing to receive. Yeah. You can be given yeah. a gift and I can bring you, you maybe don't. iPhone 15. Mm-hmm. Hey, amen. amen. And then you like, no, I'm, 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 I'm a Samsung No, I don't. Person. But um, yeah, I'm also a Samsung person, so you I don't want an iPhone. You should say Android. So, <laughs> Android. No, it's Samsung, so, my friend. Yeah. So, so now, at least now we are understanding the, 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 the nature of righteousness uh-huh. as is a gift and also it gives you that ability. Righteousness, yeah. I would say, is that ability to stand in the presence of God mm-hmm. without fear of judgment, of condemnation, mm-hmm. of unworthiness. You know, for Guilt. me personally, I struggled with this issue of righteousness mm-hmm. because I thought, you know, who work out your salvation in fear and trembling. So I used to think the fear of working out my righteousness yeah. was, you know, it's because sometimes we, we, are, we, even a born again believer can mm-hmm. fall into sin, can be tempted yeah. to sin. Yeah. And that does not mean that you've lost your righteous yeah. nature. Yeah. yeah, you may be in the ark but mm-hmm. you're falling in the ark. Mm. You're not falling outside the ark. Yes. Mm. And I like what you've just said. Like, mm. as, as Christians, yes, we do make mistakes. I don't... Sometimes when I say these things, I don't say it like we sin. I say we made a mistake. Yes. Yeah. You know, once you have, like, I made a mistake, it's easy for you to go back to God boldly because yes. what righteousness does is it enables you to go back to the, to the Father mm. with boldness. Yes. Because... That's why I keep saying, first of all, as the Bible plainly says from Romans 10, 9, you must believe in your heart. There Mm -hmm. must be a belief system that you already hold on to Mm -hmm. in order for you to understand what's going on here. Because if you don't believe, no matter what you you say or try to do, Mm -hmm. it's going to be plain rubbish. So... Yeah, filthy so, rugs. <laughs> filthy rugs. So, yeah. so, so you have to believe first of all that it's a gift, and it's also um, not a matter of um, of you trying to do something for God. You know, I don't know the amount of things you can do for God. <laughs> Can't one thing, enough. one thing you can do: believe His word. And what does His word say? Yes, believe, believe that you are right. You are righteous. Yeah. You are righteous. I've mm-hmm. given you the gift of righteousness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. Yeah. And that's all that's what God is asking yeah. for. Like I don't know. Sometimes as Christians, let's stop making our lives complicated. That's actually stop true. making the Bible ah. complicated. Yes. It's not. It's not hard. Mm. As our man of God likes saying, uh, Pastor Adiola likes saying, the word is simple. Mm-hmm. Christianity is very simple. Simplicity, the simplicity of the yeah, gospel. The simple, yeah. the simplicity. The gospel very simple, is and so he keeps simple. emphasizing the simplicity. Even I think if you listen to all these teachings, you will, you will never miss that statement. Yeah, that says yeah. The simplicity of the, the gospel. gospel. Yeah. Yeah. It's so simple. Yeah. There's yeah. no hard work in it. Right. Most most times, most times Christians, you want hard things in order mm. for us to believe. Yeah. When God just you says, you know what, just go fish in your mouth and yeah. then believe. You and can't. you're like, no, ah, is this really real? Yeah. 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 So that they become righteous. And give us seeds. And also sometimes. Uh, okay, it's it's uh, it's funny because we are human beings. Mm-hmm. We're not human doings. Mm-hmm. Amen. I mean, Hallelujah. Uh, 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 beings, you, you be. Wow. You're not okay. Yeah. 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 Come on. And, yeah. and so the scriptures say in Hebrews chapter four, verse six, I believe it says, "Therefore come boldly." Uh, verse sixteen. Therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that you may obtain mercy and grace. To help in time of need. Mm-hmm. So whenever we are approaching God, He should be that heavenly Father. Yeah. Yeah. We will relate with Him on basis of He is my Father. Mm-hmm. Not that you know. Some people have a wrong understanding of God. They think He's an angry From old a man, <laughs> in the, the man in the sky, man upstairs, mm-hmm. who's just staying there and ru- making rules that if you don't follow the rule, then the stick. You, will, you know. Yeah, they but, think Christianity is based on rules that you must follow. No. Yes. By the way, that's that's something I. Also discovered. So we should, because now someone will will believe they are righteous. Mm-hmm. Then after a while, maybe they make a mistake, mm-hmm. and then they fear. They think that now God is angry at me. <sighs> I'm not down. worthy. No, they but they he says, "Come be. boldly, because you're already righteous. You are yeah. made righteous. Yeah. And when you get born again, you cannot become more righteous by the many doings you do. That's the true. The person that was that was born again five minutes ago yeah. is the as same. righteous yeah. as someone that was born again yeah. in yeah. Um, fifty years ago, in, uh, <laughs> 1992. Yeah, and just um, to add to what you, Crusade. just to yeah. add to what you say is another important thing is when you become righteous you see all these good deeds you want to do mm. you see all these good de- deeds you you have always wanted to do it becomes mm. easier because um as the bible says when you became when you became born again you became mm. a new creation Yes. The old is past, therefore yes. the, new the new has come. Has come. There's come. a new thing about you that automatically makes you want to do the right things. Yeah. Therefore, you don't need to struggle. That's why when you hear us laughing and be like, okay, 
you are just accept it and be free and you know do the right things mm -hmm. it's because now you you're now living by a new nature mm -hmm. you're now living has a new creation mm -hmm. because if as the, and then the word when i say the word creation it means you have, your spirit has been made it's not like you know sometimes you think when you look at that verse you say it has a new creation it's like you have been replaced no you have been re a rebirth has happened mm. a new mm. thing has like a total a new species a new yes. species is Hallelujah. what you are mm. so therefore all those new things you struggle to do all those new things you're struggling to do it mm. becomes automatic you don't need to struggle anymore mm -hmm. if you align before you therefore now become to say the truth because a new creation is what you are yes. mm -hmm. a new being is what you are so mm -hmm. all these things that's why once you come to that understanding of righteousness oh. that you are righteous trust you me all these things become so easy yeah. Yeah. and we, i think in this one of the things you'll keep hearing us say in this podcast mm -hmm. or keep hearing us say uh here right now is the simplicity of the gospel yeah. like it's so simple yeah. like yeah. let's not make our lives difficult yeah, do. let's yeah. not make our we lives hard like sometimes. god has already done the work <laughs> he's true. risen he's, mm -hmm. he's you know he defeated the devil mm -hmm. yeah. our life was made to be easy so enjoy what god has already given Hallelujah. to you which is the gift of righteousness right. which is plain simple yeah. and we, we should also understand that we've said it huh? it's a gift mm -hmm. And God never takes away his gifts. Yeah. Hallelujah. God never takes away his, his gifts. His gifts are without yeah. repentance. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. They're without repentance. Mm -hmm. So someone might sit and think, oh, as Joel said, uh, you sin and then you think you have to now work again. Mm. I mean, a, a simple question would be this. Uh, when you are still a sinner, mm, like you still did some righteous deeds. Mm. Mm -hmm. That did not make you righteous, did it? Mm. Yes. So what makes you think that by doing wrong things, when it reverts your yeah. righteousness. Yeah. Yes, yes. It doesn't. Wow. Yeah, but God is good. Amen. Simply. Is. Mm -hmm. And there's something else on that comes with the nature of righteousness mm -hmm. at uh, the point of salvation. Mm -hmm. It's called eternal life. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It's called the Zoe life, the God kind of life. You know, there are four about four types of lives. Mm -hmm. There's uh, the plant life. Mm -hmm. You know, there's the animal life. Mm -hmm. There's a human kind of human life, life yeah. and then there's the God kind of life that is Hallelujah. imparted mm -hmm. in your spirit man at mm -hmm. the point of salvation. salvation uh -huh. And this is the life that makes God God. Yeah. Yeah. It's the life that um, you share with your heavenly father. The Bible mm -hmm. says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17, that he that is joined to the Lord it is one spirit, spirit one him. spirit with one. him. So these things only come by your believing by your belief system. You have to renew your mind and believe that you've been made righteous. One thing that helped me to continue in God, because in my formative years as a young Christian, I used to have a series of backslidings. I would be on fire for three months, backslide for seven months, come back, because I was trying so hard to be holy. So I used to think this is just for pastors, this is just for evangelists, not for a young person, you know. But then God showed me, um, through the teaching of the Word of God, especially right here at, at our at Royal Assembly, through our man and woman of God, mm -hmm. how God speaks to them this um, this topic of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Because here, by the way, if you're tuned, if you're watching us right now at Royal Assembly, we 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 are taught the word of faith and the gift mm -hmm. of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Those are like our pillar our pillar teachings in this yes, house. Yes. So that life of God, that eternal life, we used to, I used to think that maybe one has to die mm -hmm. for them to receive eternal life. Mm -hmm. But then I learned that you can actually, you know, you can live after you, you receive Christ. Eternal life. Yeah. You already yeah. have yeah. eternal yeah. life in you. Yeah. And that nature, that life is what makes you righteous mm -hmm. is what makes you look at sin and hate sin. Mm -hmm. Automatically, my heart started growing called towards the things of the world without yeah. even Trust realizing it's a newness. over That's time, a over time. And then I learned, oh, so I am righteous. And as uh, the Bible says, as you've spoken in my hearing, so shall it be, mm -hmm. you know, as you speak those words, the Bible says we have grace on our lips. As you declare in the morning, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. You shall be filled by the words of your mouth. Yo, yeah. Exactly. So with time, I realized that, you know, Oh, by the way, just to say something. So maybe there's somebody outside here who actually thinks um, you've, you're so low, you're so unworthy to even receive Christ. Uh, for example, like I had a friend who was so much into drugs. Mm -hmm. 
and I told this person, you know what, Jesus loves you either way. He died for you and you even didn't know about him. So I shared the word with him. And apparently, the first thought that came to his mind was, I am too in it to get Someone. out. Ooh. You know, yeah. and that's, and love that's actually that. a very big testimony because right now he's out of drugs, like totally. Yeah. He received Christ. He didn't do anything. He actually used to come to church while he was still doing the drugs. And he was washed. Somewhere cleansed. in between. Ah. The the drugs. Yeah. yeah, he literally just yeah, lost taste to of the drugs. Totally. Yeah. And right now he's totally clean. Mm. Totally. And that's why sometimes you hear pastors say, no matter what you're doing currently, mm. come to church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The beginning of every... By well, lack of a better word, <laughs> I'm using this word very strictly, deliverance. Mm. begins by you just confessing mm-hmm. the word, I mean, the lordship of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Once you confess that word, yeah. start coming to church, mm-hmm. you easily lose taste for the things of the world. That's so true. Yeah. Because yeah. That's so true. you can't have two natures. Two natures cannot exist. Yeah, one. Can't one, but yeah, that's true. One has to disappear. Yeah. And, the, and the nature of God supersedes the nature of the devil. Mm-hmm. So, those things that you used to do before will automatically have to just disappear. Yeah. Yeah. And therefore, you ha- you now start imbibing the things God wants you to be. Because you're not here on earth just to live by and then die and then go to heaven. Mm-hmm. We all have a calling. We all, we all have a, a purpose, a purpose that mm-hmm. we are supposed to fulfill here on earth. Mm-hmm. Therefore, if you knowing that we have that calling and we have a purpose here on earth, Therefore, there are things you ought not to be doing. Yeah. And because you have that nature of God in you, you will not do them. Not do them. We are not saying you will not make mistakes, mm. but we are saying that that nature will help you come back. Mm. There's always going to be a coming back. And God is such a loving father in that when you come back, he doesn't give you the eye of condemning you. Yeah. There's something I also love our man of God says. He says sometimes whenever you feel condemned or whenever you feel like, uh, your voice in your head telling you you are not worthy, that is never the voice of God. Yes. The voice of Very God true. is always the voice of peace, always the voice of faith. Yes. He will never, God will never be shouted. God is not a, a reckless father. Yeah. His, his voice is always that of, can you come back to you, my child? Look yeah. at the story of the prodigal son. Yeah. He's like, can you come back to the house? Yeah. I am more than able to, to, you know, to wipe whatever has happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come back to me. That is always the voice of a father. Mm-hmm. And a father is never the person who will, he never kicks you out of the house. Mm-hmm. Never. And also, there's, there's also, something I love telling yeah. people whenever I'm with my friends and, and it's time to go. And I tell them, I've not been chased away from my house. I can always go back to my father's yeah. house. Yes. And that's how God is. That's yes. the mentality he wants us to have. Mm-hmm.